Father, hi, it's Danny. Good morning, Danny Masterson. Welcome to the Bounder BB Show, broadcast live on KKVI FM Radio. You are live on the air. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, I know you've got this new season on TBS of Men at Work. Tell yeah. me about Men at Work. Sorry, what did you say? What what's a, what is Men at Work about? Yeah, tell me about no. Tell me about Men at Work. Okay, sure. Um, it's a uh, it's a sitcom. It's on TBS. We're we're in our second season. is premiering this week. Um, you basically have uh, four guys who live in New York and all work at a, a men's magazine, and the show sort of revolves around their relationships with each other and uh, with the ladies that they're pursuing. You come from a long-running series, That 70s Show, yeah. and it's, it, it's, is this different? I know the show is different, but is it different with these people and these characters and this, this genre here? Yeah, you know... Um, that 70s show sort of be, be, one of the great things about it was all of the dream sequences and and and, and fantasies and, and and musical numbers and whatnot, um, and so this show is a little more reality based. I think it's uh, it's modern. Um, there's no sort of uh, you know fancy effects or whatnot, um, but it's the same sort of thing. We, we shoot live on a Friday night in front of uh, two three hundred people. Uh, we've had a lot of the same directors. Um, and uh, the, the work week is all the same. There's not a lot of, uh, I don't know if you, you call this kind of reality-based, but there's not a lot of shows that guys are just the feature focus. You know, there's mixed shows and girl shows, but this is one of the few shows. What's going to make, what makes you different? Yeah, I mean, it's just four guys doing stupid stuff, honestly. Um, you know, we all sort of think we're so cool, and none of us really are. Um, you know, all the advice that gets passed back and forth is generally bad advice. And uh, it's just always funny for us as the characters watching each other fall on, on our faces. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you know, you get to sort of see the inner workings of uh, the modern male, I guess. I think so, because, you know, it said, I was reading some story, study based on, you know, that little book called Lean, what is it called, Lean In with Cheryl Soderbergh. <laughs> anyway, one of the things that, you know... Everybody's saying, well, guys, you guys aren't growing up. You still want to play games. You still want to be irresponsible. Is this what your show, Men at Work, shows us? Pretty much, yeah. I couldn't agree with that more, yeah. Mm, so it, it is reality-based, then. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You know, you know, our show is, is uh, created by Brecken Meyer, who's a great actor, and he's written more than half the episodes. You know, and it's my character, Milo, is based off of him in, in the time when he was in... Um, uh, had an ender, uh, a long-term relationship end, and uh, it was about his friend sort of getting him back on his feet and getting him back into the dating game, um, which he did pretty poorly at, and so Milo does as well. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's based on, on him and his friends and sort of the things that they were thinking and saying and doing uh, at that time. You know, this question is always asked. It says, well, what kind of message is this sending? Well, I'd like to ask, what kind of message is this sending to the women who are single and their biological clocks are running out and they're looking forward to settle down? What kind of uh, is it men at work sending a message out there? The message that we're sending is that we hope you laugh. Honestly, it's a comedy. <laughs> um, we're trying to do things that are a little outrageous, uh, a little, you know, off the mark. Um, do are any of these characters perfect marriage material? I, I don't quite think so. Um, but uh, but we're hoping that when you watch the show, you laugh at us. And a little bit with us, but mostly you laugh at us. <laughs> that's, that's a great way to look at it, yeah. Danny. Danny, uh, uh, I know you've been involved in a matrix of projects. Do you yeah. have anything else on, on, on your plate? I do, yeah. I just shot a great film called Killing Winston Jones, where I got to start a movie with Richard Dreyfuss, um, Danny Glover, and John Heater. Uh, the, the film's a dark comedy, kind of a uh, grumpy old men um, style film where the two old guys are just at each other's throats. Uh, and John Heater plays my brother, and I are sort of stuck in the middle. So that was a lot of fun. Got to spend a, a good amount of time in Savannah, Georgia, shooting that, which is a great city. Um, and then right now, just really excited about season two of Men at Work. Uh, we've sort of been premiering internationally around the world um, and uh, here in the States uh, tomorrow and Thursday and then get ready to start shooting season three. Well, Danny Masterson, I think you're one lucky guy and your character Milo. I'm oh, sure I do too. <laughs> you do. Yeah, I think you're one lucky guy. I really uh, applaud your success and 
keep doing what you're doing. I'll and try. I thank you so much. When do you want us to watch TBS uh, Minute Work? Yeah, 10 o'clock Thursday night. We'll be watching. Thank you so much, it. Danny Masterson. Right, I really appreciate it.